What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-30746-0. So yeah, let's get right into this. So this might be occurring for you in the latest PlayStation 4 update, the 9.5 update. Uh, this gave other errors as well <laughs> on top of just this one. But if you see the error, I, I have successfully installed it. But, you know, there's always hurdles kind of installing these PlayStation updates. So we're going to get right into this on how to essentially fix this if this is not installing for you and giving you this error. So what you want to do is you want to make sure your PlayStation 4 is completely powered off. So all the way, as you see right now, not, not safe mode or not rest mode, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but you want to completely power it off. Once you have it powered off uh, and the white light on the right side of the PlayStation 4 stops flashing, you want to connect your PlayStation 4 controller with a USB cable directly from the PlayStation 4 to the controller itself. Uh, the reason for this is we are going to enter safe mode into the console and inside of it we are going to essentially uh, go into safe mode and fix this error and make it go away. So. All right, it is off. So the way we enter safe mode is we're going to hold into the power button and you're going to hear two beeps, one to turn it on and the second to go into safe mode. My PlayStation 4 is old and it sucks and it makes no beeps at all. Sometimes it does, but most of the times it doesn't. So I kind of just instinctively let go after like five to eight seconds and voila, we are now in safe mode. So once you're in here, you want to press the uh, PlayStation button to be able to access the screen and you want to use the D-pad. The analog stick doesn't work, you want to use the D-pad. So we're going to do a couple of things on how to essentially fix this. The first one we're going to try is without going into like deleting everything from your console because you don't want your games deleted, you don't want your Elden Ring file deleted, right? <laughs> so what we're going to do over here is once in number three, we're going to click number three again and do update using internet. As you saw, I already had the 9.5 version updated installed, but you can see I can do it again. Uh, what this is, it kind of like reinstalls it for you. So even if you try doing it, always do it from here instead. Never try to do it manually. Always try to do it from here. And this will almost always give you a much better bet. And you'll obviously do significantly better if you do your updates from here instead. Uh, if once you kind of try this, and let's just say this doesn't work, the next best thing you want to kind of try is update from USB storage device. I have a video on this and I will leave it in the description for you guys to check out below. This is probably the next best thing you can do to essentially update your console. What this does is you, you have to essentially go to Sony's website and download the firmware directly from them and put it on a storage device. Uh, there is certain like things on what, what uh, formatting it needs to be. I think it's FAT32 and all that other good stuff. Uh, you put it in a special file. Like I said, I have a whole video talking about how to essentially do this portion, which I would highly recommend you guys to watch from beginning to end so you're able to kind of perform that actions to essentially do the update. Now, if that doesn't work either, there's another thing you can do. One you want to try is you want to try number five, which is rebuilding your database. This couldn't take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. It has taken me mostly like five to 10 minutes. Again, it's dependent upon your console. And then once you do this, come back into safe mode. It's going to restart your PlayStation 4 once this is completed. Turn it back off, turn it back on, and come back and try option number three again. You want to kind of re-perform that action and see if, like I said, option number three and three works, if not three and one works. Because the goal is to not essentially <laughs> reformat your console completely. The reason you don't want to do that is you don't want to lose your files, which is option number six and seven, which I'm going to talk about in a second. You don't want to lose your save files. You don't want to lose your game files. You want to ensure you still have access to be able to play those games and do whatever you're trying to do, right? You don't want to lose access to those specific things. Hence why I'm not, uh, uh, those are the last and final resorts. So option number six is essentially, you can see over here, this is, again, if those don't work, these are in the last, this is the second last option, and then there's a last option, which is the same as this, but a little bit different, is if you initialize the PlayStation 4, all users and all data will be deleted from the PlayStation 4. So again, a lot of times why I don't recommend this, people don't really know their username, they don't know their password, their PSN, they have all the same file they don't have playstation plus so they don't have their cloud saves like it sucks this is a terrible situation all across the board you obviously don't want to go down this route and you don't want to you don't want this to be happening right so this is like worst 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 case scenario for you to essentially perform this action uh, and number seven is essentially very similar in the sense that you are doing the same exact thing, but you're doing this via a USB. I have a video on how to do this also. Uh, this is usually better than number six if you're trying to do it. But again, try number six first if this is your last option. And then if that doesn't work, you're going to have to try number seven. 
which like I mentioned, is going to be essentially utilizing it via the USB method and is going to be directly from the Sony's website. It's going to have an update file within the USB. You plug it into your console, uh, where like basically where I have it here. Make sure you have it plugged in for both number three and number seven uh, pre before turning it on and having it in safe mode because a lot of times it doesn't work because of that reasoning. So you want to obviously ensure uh, that you have that kind of job done and go from there. So yeah, essentially once you do these steps, you should be able to have your console updated, you should be able to sign into PSN, and you should not have any issues persist any longer, and you should be good to go. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> so I know, it's a lot, it's a lot, I, I do hope this does help you. Uh, like I said, for some whatever odd reason, Sony usually ends up like having these issues occurring with their consoles whenever a new update happens, especially a big major update like this one. Uh, I believe there were other PlayStation errors that were occurring. I had some videos up that were helping folks getting rid of them, but it kind of did suck. But yeah, that's essentially how you got to kind of like run it by this and take it from there. Yeah. Uh, if you guys overall did like this video, uh, I do I would appreciate it if you can smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. On that, Mo Gaming out. Peace.